Catch some fish out of the beautiful Goulburn River. Check it all out. Beautiful scenery. Lots of fish around. Lots of fish around. Rightio. I decided to start off indicator nymphing. I couldn't get any closer to the main current because the mud was so deep. The indicator rig gave me the distance that I needed. Just a matter of getting it out into the current without getting too bogged down by these by the mud here yep got him nice fish very nice Oh, he's off. <laughs> oh, well. All right. Nearly got him. Got off at the last minute. On the little pheasant tail jig nymph. It was a long time between fish on the indicator rig, so I decided to change over to the Euro rod. This gave me the option of fishing closer to the bottom, uh, where I thought the fish were holding. My instincts paid off, and I hooked into a fish yep, immediately. Got him. Very nice. This is a nice fish. Just keep the pressure on him. I think he's a it's a rainbow. The red nymph, blood worm. Hey, 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 hey. It's got some steam. steam. Wants to get off. There we have it, beautiful rainbow trout. Very nice. It was a bit of a slow day by all accounts. Something had to change. I had to contend with the mud, but I found some virgin water. But I'm gonna try and cross over here. I'm not having much luck anywhere else, so. This is the plan, this is the way. All right, let's see if we can, it's a bit sticky, but what's brown and sticky? The stick. Funny guy. Let's see if we can get a fish out of here. Nice deep drop off there. If I can get it through there without getting it snagged, well, we'll be laughing. I think I just saw the tail of a fish. This pool was uh, fairly slow moving, probably about six feet deep. There was plenty of timber to get caught on, so I just kept my flies higher in the water column. This resulted in an aggressive take from a rainbow trout. Yep, got him. Oh, he came up and smashed that. Yes. It's a red nymph again.
Very nice. Very nice. Nice rainbow. Okay. Oh. Check him out. Pretty good. Get him back. Now we're into it. We're onto it now. Struggling a bit there at the start. Jeez. He really came after that nymph. <sighs> See if there's anything else in there cruising around. Maybe something a bit bigger. Yep. Had to be one in there. <laughs> Very nice. Nice rainbow and he took, he took the top nymph, the orange hotspot. You can see how just drifting, drifting it through. Oh, can get a hand on him, yep. There he is, beautiful fish. I fished my way around the back of that pool and came to this really nice looking section. It was shallow, it had a nice weed bed and there was some sort of deep depressions between the weed beds. Changed over to the five weight with a jig streamer. This particular jig streamer serves me well. This is an excellent way of fishing this sort of water. You can really cover a lot of water quickly and give a lot of movement to the fly and get a reactionary strike out of a fish. Yes. <sighs> I thought there'd be one in this little depression here around the weed beds. And it's a brown, makes sense. Browns will sit in that sort of stuff. It's only a little fella. Welcome fish, nonetheless. There you go, little jig streamer. And I turned my day around, little brown trout. Coming out, wading through and Coming out here was a good decision. I know what I want to do. I'm going to get on the edge of this. And fish into those willow trees. And I reckon, if I was a betting man, that'd produce a fish. After working my way over the shallow section, I came to a drop off. It ran all the way along the willow trees for about 100, 150 metres. I know that big fish hold in this sort of water. I went back to the Euro nymphing outfit with the hotspot nymph and bloodworm. That's somewhere I would think that there would be definitely be a fish. Yes, nice fish. Ha oh, oh. ha. I knew there had to be one in there. Oh, that's a cracker. Yes, 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 yes. Oh. Got to keep the pressure on him. Oh, he's a beautiful fish. And this rod just handles him. Handles him like a dream. Oh. Just, he's pinned pretty good, but barbless hooks, so there's always a, he's not, uh, 
He's not ready to come in yet. Oh, he's only just pinned. Come on, Jimmy. Get this bloke in. I'll keep his head down, keep his head down. Alright. It's not ready yet, it's not ready yet. He's trying to get into that current. This is a heavy fish for this. And this rod's handling it so far. But, <laughs> oh, he's chunky. That is a chunky, chunky fish. Oh. Gosh. Okay. All oh, right, he's tucked out a bit now. That fly is only just in there. Oh, yes. Look at you, you beast. <laughs> wow. I'll just pick him up. There he is. Absolute belter. Beautiful fish. Let's release this guy because he's such a nice fish. Okay, there we go. There you go, mate. Indy's off. Look at you, you beast. Back to the depths with you. I was just always good to check your flies and your knots after something like that. So that's a big fish and it can cause dramas. If you enjoy this video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing. Your interaction with my channel helps it grow and pushes my videos oh, out to gosh. more people. Camera's malfunctioning and I'm hooked into this nice fish. Another big one. Oh, he's just, he's running, he's running for the trees, not the trees. Come on, get out of there. Oh, dude, I think it's another probably six pounder. He took the red bloodworm nymph. That's been a killer today as well. He's not ready to come in yet. He's still got a bit of fight in him. I don't want him out in there. Don't want him out in the current there. Ah. Oh. I'm here, buddy. I'm just gonna try and swing him. Swing him into this net. Oh, he's still got a bit of fire. It's just not good enough, GoPro. I mean, not good enough. I've just had a camera malfunction. It's overheating. Just as I caught this guy, another big stonking fish. Just gonna weigh this fish. Six pounds on the banger. Six, six and a bit. Six and a bit. Unfortunately, I didn't get the hookup or the release of that beautiful trout. I had to shut my GoPro down and let it cool down a bit. Technology, man. Technology. Yes. Oh, another good fish. <laughs> Oh, he's a fighter. Oh, he's not a—he's not a huge fish at all, but he's—he's he's just got a lot of fight. All righty. Another fish. Felt big. 
This rod's so sensitive, it's, I guess it's just like that. Yep. Oh, another cracker, another cracker. <laughs> calm down. I'm calm! Yes. Oh. This guy's got some energy. Another cracking fish. Dude. He's an acrobat, this one. This is some good fun fishing. He's going, he's going. Oh, look at you, you beast. Another nice fish. Another belter. <sighs> Another belter of a fish. See if we can get something out of here. I was on the other side of this before. So. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh, darn it. Dropped him. All right, I think there might be a bit of slack water behind this log here, just ahead of me. If I was a betting man, I'd say there's a fish somewhere between here and here. Let's see if we can get him to take our, our nymphs. Might have to go in just a little bit. It's got to get the right drift. Yep, and there was. And I think it might be a brown trout. It is. Oh, he's off. And I'm in a tree. Got stuck in a tree. You bugger. That's all right. They do come off sometimes. Change back to the five weight with the jig nymph to fish this slow water. Something in here. I'll let that sink. Yep, got him. <sighs> he ate that. Little jig nymph. I'll we'll try and get this guy off without too much drama. All right, there you go, buddy. And he's off. Yep, 
Got him. <sighs> he took it. <sighs> oh, there you go. Ate the jig nymph, little guy. I was on a time limit today, so this was it. I had to go. That didn't stop me throwing a few nymphs around on the way out. Huh. A little brown, a little rainbow, I think. It's bound to be one in there. Nice shady spot. Beautiful looking. Look at the colours on the young ones. They're just so nice. Oh, I've got to get home now. <laughs> All right, everybody, that is a wrap for me. It's been a great day. Absolute cracker. I um, bought a lot of good fish. A few, a few small ones, but uh, two six pounders. And yeah, I've, I've had a cracking day. I can't complain at all. Most fish were taken on the, um, the blood worm jig nymph. That's what I'm going to call it anyway. I don't know. I don't know what else to call it. Um, find the, the blood worm always catches me good sized fish. I don't know why. I don't know if it's just a fluke or but it always catches me some nice fish. I'm very happy. Had a really good day. Um, can't complain at all. Beautiful rainbow. Oh.